Hello everyone, you are welcome. You are watching Bypass Take RW. Okay, today we are going to continue with our episode, our series. Uh, this is the next next episode. Okay. You as you see, this is our previous codes or our previous our previous work. Uh, we that we did. Okay. This is our output. This is our output of what we did. Okay. Today we are going to see how to style, how to format, how to use colors uh, in different terms. Okay. As I said before, we we are going to see those step and those those titles by formatting uh, texts. Uh, and after I will show you and teach you how to use a CSS uh, formatting uh, text with CSS and how to you to make a links from one page to another, how to shift the, or to exchange pages with um, with uh, links and how to import an images and how to make a tables. Uh, then after we are going to see how to make a list. I hope I hope you will understand all these these kind of styles. Okay. Let us start with uh, with HTML styles. Okay, Le let me first show you how to comment. Uh, we have uh, in programming we have we have a different different types of comment. Uh, we have a, a long comment and short comment. All single line comment or multiple line comment in html we have a, a single line comment is the same as multiple line comment you can you can place control in a window pieces you can press window and left slash this is how to make a comment with a single with a, with a single line uh, and multiple lines we, we, let us write this you see all these codes and uh, these codes these signs will be a uh, comment will be commented but if you if you went to to end with to end comment by here we say we write this minus minus and greater than okay this is how to comment to make a comment with multi multiple lines multiple line comment multiple line comment okay let us continue with um, showing you I hope you understand how to comment if you will learn let us test it test this let's, let's save it we save it by control save control ace let us see what the output we get you see all these this line a uh, which is in multiple lines will not be displayed because we make it like a comment okay let us move remove this comment and save it let us see what output you see they come back okay 
I hope you understand how to make a comment with a single line and multiple lines. Okay, let us let me make uh, uh, let me show you the syntax of styling. First, let us first you need to 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 type a tag name tag name and style uh, as properties style equal to uh, double quotes and you write property value property property value property value uh, don't worry I'm, go I'm going to show you how to if you finish to write a property value, you, you end by a dot comma uh, or end line. Okay, then you finish. Okay, uh, a property, let me tell you one thing. A property is a CSS property. I hope you understand. I will show you in the future. Okay, the value is the CSS value. Yes, that is what I'm going what I'm going to show you. Okay, let us taste. If if I want to change these this header, this tag means header as I said before is a header one is the biggest. Let us let us save it. You see, this is this is a header link, heading. If you write uh, like four, head four, you see, will be be resize into smaller size. Okay. Let us uh, go back. Okay. Okay. Let me let me explain these by testing by here head. Let us say style and let us write a property value. A property value. This is an example I'm going to show you. Let us write color, then write a value. Here I will say, um, sorry, okay, uh, here let us write color, color, and let us delete, let, let's write blue, then end of style. We say th this means the is the end of property, style property value, okay. Let us test it. You see, the, this this is heading will will be a blue. Okay, uh, that how we can deal with uh, styles. Okay, now let me show you uh, how to to make a background color. Background color. Okay, we say. It has, it has, remove these, okay, in the background color property, define the background color for the HTML element, yeah, this is the example I'm going to show you, uh, that will show you how to change the background color uh, of the body, uh, you see this is the white background and we want to change the background color of the body okay this body uh, will cover this whole page this content whole page okay let us let us write style and background color background color then write let us uh, say an example powder blue let's say powder blue powder blue 
okay then end of style let, uh, let us save it nope then refresh you see the whole content background was changed okay this is how to deal with the background okay for the next one let us see how how to deal with the HTML fonts HTML fonts uh, a font family is a property define how font will be used in HTML, HTML element okay let us change the font of this paragraph this paragraph they say style as I said how to make it then write font family uh, font font family then write uh, ka career is an example career then end let us test it you see automatically this paragraph will be changed let us copy this and and okay let me copy this paragraph in multiple multiple in order to see those one you see this is how we can change a font family okay let, let us see an, another example font let's say Arian you see this is how we change Algeria I'm sorry okay that's how we, we say okay let me put this at the header ring head one okay you see will be changed okay now let us see how to resize a text how to resize the text uh, let this say uh, let us let us copy this B use br this br show uh, make uh, a distance between the lows between the lows okay let me paste it by here okay then let us say a font size as we want to change a size of uh, our head head let, let us say head to heading to and change this in order to be resizing it okay let's say font size font size this is here then we write um, our size we want to, to make it we can use a percentage let us test it you see will be a greater than to this one we can use by pixels you see will be a biggest one okay let, let us uh, small make small you see will be changed a hundred pixels you see that good one okay the sizing one font size okay that one okay next one i'm going to show you how to use a text alignment how to align our texts okay let us let us resize this one and make it uh sat pixels okay we want to to put these into uh, into a, in in the center 
in the sand. Let we, we say uh, text align property, define how the horizontal text align for HTML element is letters, letters make uh, font uh, text align text align this is a text align then we say center center okay there you see this is how we did with aligning aligning our text okay uh, we are going to to format a text to deal with formatting text uh, like bolding, make italic, uh, and uh, how to make a subscription, how to make superscription. Okay, let us see how we're going to deal with formatting our text by formatting by bothering by iterate iterating iterating okay let us see how to bold we're going to start with bold okay let's say uh, like this is an element that to explain how to bold and what this let's say this is a bold a bold and save it you see the text was be bold let the make it into a paragraph copy this cut this and make into a paragraph you see this is a bold let us uh, copy this and make an output uh, the out of this bold. This is not bold. And see the difference. You see, this is not a bold. Make a slash. Okay, this is bold and this is not bold because uh, these. This bold was be into was be in inside the B in, inside the body the bold okay and this bold this bold is the same as strong properties when we say strong okay the, the, let's copy this. I'll cut this and save it. You see, this B work like this strong is the same. Okay, I hope you understand. This B is the same as strong. Okay, let, let, let us move on. Okay, now let us see how to make a neat rig. Okay. Let, let, copy, let us copy this. We are going to make this as iteric. Iteric and save it. Let us test it. You see, this is a bold will be iteric. Let us write iteric. You see, this in, is an iteric. Okay. Let us, uh, this inter week is the same as emphasize, emphasized. Okay, Let, uh, how to write emphasize, we write EM and end with EM. You see, it's the same as, let us write emphasize, emphasize, emphasized. Okay, this is not emphasized, you know. Let move is is okay. Wow, let us go on. 
And let me show you how to small, how to use a small element. When we say this paragraph is a small, this paragraph, let, let's paste into and small. Let us save it. You see, this this paragraph is is not. Let me. Let me this paragraph is not like this in the size because this is the small is inside the small tag okay you see okay now let, let, let us move on uh, how to use element called mark let us write mark and paste inside these you see this one is not the same as these you see all these tags uh, was showing you how to deal with tags okay and how to uh, to format the text and how to deal with formatting the text. Okay, let us how let us see how to subscript and how to to superscript. For example, if we say, let me comment. If if we want want to if we want to use to use base bases and powers we use we use sub sub and and uh, use sub and soap tags soap tags okay let us see how to use it when we say, uh, let, let us say paragraph one, and one, uh, two, base, or sub, sub, uh, let us to say two. Let us save it and refresh. You see, two base, two. And let us copy this and how see how to make. Well, this is, is the base, the base is examples, example of how, of how to write bases in HTML okay you see this is a base too okay when we say let us say power oh no I'm sorry how uh, sub sub and two um, this is an example of how to write powers how to write powers in HTML let us test it you see two power two two base two I hope you understand how to make these ones okay now i'm going to teach you how to make a background of the paragraph or headings or and so on uh, we want uh, when we want to 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 make these head two make uh, its own background we say 
Get to see where we where we where we are. The background to it a week. Where is it? Okay, this is one. Uh, when we want to make its background, we say background background color. Let us say an example. Doge. Doja, Doja Blue, Doja Blue, let us save it, and see, you see, these header, heading 2 have its own background, you see, wow, that's good, let's see another example, Let's see, let us say this paragraph style and the background color and let's say tomato, tomato, tomato is, the, is not a dried fruit, is a, is a, a kind of color, okay, let me show you, you see, this is a tomato color. Okay, now we can change a text. Uh, I was showing how to change a uh, text color. Okay, okay, now let us see how to bold to make a bold with uh, during with a uh, uh, text when we want to, to make these it's only bold we can say let us go to these you can say uh, style uh, border border we want to make a border of the that one to pixels and we write solve the color this uh, this this uh, the color we're going to make as a bold. Let us say violet. Violet. Let us te test it. You see, the violet will be the bold. Will be the bordering. Was bordered this paragraph. Okay. Now we can. We can set a color or the border. I, I, this is an example. Now let us see. In in kind of colors, we have different types of colors. We can use. Uh, we can also be specify the using of, of RGB values by hexadecimal values by. HSL values by RGBA values and etc. Okay, now I'm going to show you and to teach you how to use a CSS. CSS. Okay, in CSS we have three types of CSS. First one is in the line. The second one is internal and third one is an external CSS by inline we use the style attribute inside HTML element as I showing you like this this is an example of this is an example of inline CSS okay the second one type is internal CSS by using internal CSS, we use a style element inside the header, inside this header. Okay. By external, we, we create external CSS file. I will show you how to make it. Okay. Let us move on and see how to use internal CSS. Let me delete, let me delete those, those, those codes, 
Okay. We are going to see how to how to use internal CSS. By internal CSS, we will use style style tag style element inside the, this head. Okay. We say we write this. Okay. Let us see an example. Let, let us write paragraph. Uh, let's see, let, let us write bypass, pass, by take, bypass take, LW, okay, you see, these bypass take LW uh, is not formatted, but we want to format it, okay, inside these style by using internal CSS we say we write first one we write the tag element uh, or the tag which we want to to format or to to edit is paragraph and then we make these brackets then write what we are going to make all properties values let us let us write a color which means we want to to change the color of of text let's see let us write red then end of style then test it you see was big changed let us you see this is no this is smallest let us write font size then write write a hundred pixels then end of tag and save it and text it you see we be that is okay now i hope you understand how to make or to deal with style by internal css let us see how we can use we can use an external CSS. Uh, let us see how we deal with a external CSS. First one, you must know how to create a new document. Uh, me, I, I'm using Sublime Text. Let me first we, we by using in, in external. First, we want to make or to create external sheet or to to write another file and then import that file we was saving, which have a, a which have extension of CSS and import it. Let, let me show you how to make it. Okay. Let me delete this and fast. Now we are going to make uh, external CSS. First, we need to make a new document. Let me make. Okay, let me open our folder. Uh, it's on the desktop. Okay, let me close this. Okay, this is our page. Now, let me create a new document, a new file, then save it as CSS. Then it has, this is a CSS. Then write call it as CSS okay now we have two document inside uh, two files inside our our project or our file now let us import it let us import this CSS file this CSS file inside our index 
in order to format a different uh, different document. Okay, first we write element called our a tag called link. We are going to make a link between the between documents. Okay, now you see this is a relationship uh, called a style sheet, then type which is the CSS, then HLF that uh, make a link between our styles. Okay, our CSS will, is called CSS.CSS. Now the relationship will be was being created. How we can how we can able to understand the, if it is this document will be connected. Let us format this one. Okay, we go to this this CSS file and make a background color as blue we want to to make this paragraph as blue okay then let us test it you see now is not be what what why is not working you see p style let us make another the file Call it, call it style dot CSS. Then save it. Okay. Now let me write. You see the type of uh, this is an error because. It has crossed this. You see, I was writing ACC. This type of document is not exist. But if you write this, then save it. You see? Nope. CSC semi write style dot CSS. Then save it. Then let me copy this and paste here. You see? Wow, that's how we can make a CSS document. By let us make a font size as a two to uh, okay, you see, be greater and let us uh, use font family as let, let us in a Microsoft world the different uh, has different fonts. You see, let us use um, a Nigeria, a Nigerian, and paste it here and save it. No, no, I'm sorry. And test it. You see, I will tell you be like this one. Now, I hope you understand how to use an external CSS. Okay. Now, I'm going to teach you how to font with external CSS okay I was showing you but let me teach you how to deal with to deal with links how to deal with a links okay link are hyperlinks you see what the meaning of hyperlinks it is a different interaction be between uh, pages okay you can click on the link and jump to the another document 
when you move a mouse over the link, uh, the mouse uh, hello, will be turned into the, the, the title hand. You see the hand of uh, the, uh, the mouse will be changed into the hand. Okay. Now let us see an example of how to, to deal with that. Okay, first let me let me create another HTML document. Let me save it as um, home dot HTML. Okay, then at HTML, let's see by pass take a W W. Then save it. Then by the paragraph, the paragraph say by pass arrow by pass take a W. Then let us see. Okay, let us make a link between these between this index and home okay let's see let us write p and write go to by by pass take a page then you see now this is not a what? Uh, our our link. Now let us uh, remove. Let us say this is head one. In order to to remove that font, then go to the CSS style and, and say H one. Okay. You see, the, we want to make this paragraph as a link. We say a a tag uh, represent the link. Represent the link. Okay. Let us take this. I copy this inside this a as a ring then specify the the page you want to go on then we say home dot extension of our page is an HTML this is how we make a link if you test it let us see say let us delete this one I want to show you a small nope 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 we are we are on we are not on our indexed page we go let us go here and make a a as a ring then go cut this and paste it here then write a home we want to go here we want to move from this indexed page and go to the home page then pass uh, uh, an extension of our page then let us test you see Exact, uh, exactly, this pair, this word, this, these words will be changed into our link. When we move our mouse into this, will be a, a little hand, hand. You see, when we click on this, we go to the next page called home page.html let us go make a go back link here 
is say a as a week then say back go back go back then write index dot a dot html then refresh it you see when we click here you go back now this will be working when this document these two different documents will be inside the same the same folder or the same directory when okay let us take an example make another folder inside the bypass text file, like um, let us call a link call it hit link and take this document okay let me let me go to our document and this home move with inside the ring you see when we refresh this and click on this there is no file found file is not found okay how we can fix this we say okay go to indexed we say these we write a link then slash home you see link slash home dot html let us go back and refresh you see back on the indexed html page you see when we tie we write okay you see there is no file found here but if you will want to go back we write slash dot two dot slash index.html let us go back here and refresh it and go back you see this is how to make a rings between those pages okay now let me teach you how to import an images images let, let me write images how to import import images images okay the syntax of how to import images uh, we say uh, we say image image source image source then echo and pass the image name image name and then extension extension okay let us see an example first we want to to import an image inside this document inside this document let us say an example of image let, let us rename this one as c no the image then copy this one and go back to here paste it okay now let us import an image inside image then we write a name uh, it is called images dot it's its extension is png then pass the size of it we say style we're going to use a uh, uh, in one CSS in line CSS then write 48 pixels no 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 they say with it as for eight pixels and line then 
we write height as 48 pixels then let us te test it you see this is our image let us, let us make this as um, let us uh, make it as percentage then save it you see this is our image okay now let me teach you how to create how to make uh, a tables a tables and insert the tables let me let me say uh, h1 how to make tables tables okay first one we we use tag called or element called the table then we write a uh, table table lows uh, as table low every table contains with lows and table data td this is called table data okay this is how to write every table contains with table data table headers yeah let me let me let me start with table lows and then table that table headers table header okay then let let's say now numbers you see then names 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 let's say n and use our super superscript and insert it let's say name then name this is how to make a uh, table edges that us write edges edges then names names okay now let us see first how this look like but first we say a border in order to to in order to make table will be displayed by border link you see when we refresh you see this is how to make a table let us insert a uh, different uh, different datas they commented datas inside inside tables tables let us say let us say this uh, table below table below then insert the datas as table data first we say uh, number one then table data as table data as names let us say uh, by pass take out of w then age table data table data as age let's say 32 then refresh it you see this is how we make it then let us insert another another data let's say 
all x all x h twenty three then you see how it's it's work copy this you see every table that are con every tables in HTML contains with table loaves and table heads and table that has let's say Enoch with a three uh, let us say a thirty two refresh it you see this is how to make a table let us insert this this uh, this table in, into uh, into center align let us use uh, let us use internal style sheet style uh, style sheet or CSS then write table table let's say table uh, no 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 okay table then align it no while going on what's going on then style style then table then right uh, then for align content let's say center then refresh it you see the content will be into center then let us say um, say float I'm going to make inside center nope. mm. let us to make inside the center text inside the center text align center you see all the text inside the center when we want to make this one into the center we say center then this element go in under this table then this is how to make it inside the center okay now i'm going to teach you how to to edit how to edit uh, those table table insta by using style let us make this table header insert a, a background we say table we say table as the first element then next one is a tl table data then the third one is table header table he header table header then background color is say sky sky blue is a color then save it then test it you see this is how to deal with uh, to deal, to edit uh, tables if you want to make uh, those one you can make it okay finally I'm going to show you how to teach you how to make a list to make a list now let let me let me show you how to make a list uh, header to listing listing okay i'm going to make a list here okay first we use uh, we can 
make a list which is is called unordered. This uh, ul means unordered list, uh, ordered list. This is the tag one. The second tag, we make a tag called list. These we can in take install. We can make. Uh, we can insert into the data. Let's say coffee. Okay, this is data one. Data two is T. Data three is milk. Milk. Okay, let us see. You see, this is how to make a list. First, you make all the list, then you make a list. Then this uh, this tag contains the data that we want to make a list. Okay. Now we can make the we can make it uh, by ordering it uh, by saying style then list list style type then uh, this this sake okay let us see you see how it work you see then and it okay list style okay that's how I make I make uh, make it okay now let us make it this this one uh, like um, you see this is the dot let us say cycle and see what the changes you see this is how to make a cycle as a lead type or uh, as style of type then we can say uh, square square you see the square will be work now let me zoom it now when we say none style none there is no dots here and when we want to order those one like coffee is uh, is a one tea is a two milk is a three we can say we can say style uh, can say order the list now okay order the list then type type of no type is one you see one two three type if is a we will say a and b c when we say b a b a b c okay this is how to make it when we want to make as a lumen we say i as big you see i is three three four then i i had to you see i hope you understand how to make those ones now in this video you will be able to create to make uh, styles of text and to make a css style with different types like inline uh, like inline inter internal and external style sheet as a css then you know how to make a list how to make a link and how to make a tables i hope you understand now if you have any question you can ask in inside the comment then if you didn't make a uh, subscribe you can make it thank you then in the next video we are going to know or to understand how to make how to use id how to use a class uh, in attributes 
or in tags or by using element. Now, I hope you understand well. Thank you. Ciao.